don't have even the most basic tools to help them succeed. And that's where Breakthrough Charity comes in. With more, here's our Rahima Ellis. Let's turn cut into cut. At Estelle Elementary outside of New Orleans, these second graders are excited to begin the new school year in Miss Pellifate's class. We learn lots of math and science. And I get to learn stuff on the computers. But across the country, so much of what happens in classrooms like this one goes beyond the budget. You have to decide where they go. Charles Best remembers it well. He struggled to get basic resources for his students in New York 15 years ago. There were lots of times when I wanted to make photocopies for them and there was not enough copy paper. That's when Best decided to try an experiment and create a website where people could help him raise money for his classroom. He convinced 11 other teachers at his school to post project requests for their classrooms. I had to fund them myself. Donors uh, to fund those projects. But I did so anonymously, which made my colleagues mistakenly think that the website actually worked. Fast forward 15 years. Best now runs a nonprofit called Donors Choose, which funds educational projects. It's raised $340 million helping about 250,000 teachers and 15 million students across the country. Projects on the website range from basic school supplies to classroom libraries and field trips, even science experiments and sports programs. Back in Louisiana, the computers, iPads, and many books in Ms. Pellifig's classroom were funded by donations. Financially, it's not something that I could have afforded to do on my own. She's received more than $22,000 worth of teaching materials. I don't have the words to express what Donors Choose has done for me as a teacher and what it has done for my students. All from the kindness of strangers. Rahima Ellis, NBC News, Marrero, Louisiana.